What's up everybody, Chad Ferguson here, Catfish Edge. Today I'm going to cover everything you need to know to rig and fish the Whisker Seeker Tackle Baby Chub. We've been absolutely slaying the catfish here recently with this setup. So let's get started. So I've been fishing this baby chub rig from Whisker Seeker over the winter. Did really well with it this winter for trophy catfish. I'm still using that Black Mamba, Big Bertha, all the other Whisker Seeker rigs, but I've been experimenting with this one also, and it's one of those things, again, sometimes fish just prefer one thing more than another, and you got to get out there and experiment. But over the last month or so, we have been absolutely slaying the catfish with this Whisker Seeker Tackle Baby Chub. And the way that I've got this rigged up has just been a killer rig. These fish are just coming in and hammering these baits when they're rigged up like this with this Silver Baby Chub and a Silver Versa Rattle. So the way I've got this rigged is I've got the um, Whisker Seeker Baby Chub tied onto the main line here. Right now I'm running the 8 aught Triple Threat Hook. It's a little bit bigger hook than what comes on the baby chub out of the package. Um, I, I've needed to run a little bit larger hook just because of the way the bite is of recent. And I've got about six, maybe eight inches of leader line there run from the baby chub to a ball chain swivel. That ball chain swivel really helps to reduce line twist and really helps improve the action of the bait. You get a lot more movement to it. It's not something you absolutely have to use, but I do like to run these a lot of the times on my catfish rigs. And then running up against that ball chain swivel, I've got a Whisker Seeker optic bead and a Silver Versa rattle. Now running from the ball chain swivel to just a regular barrel swivel here, I've got about 20, 24 inches of leader line, again with that Versa rattle and the optic bead, and that's going to my main line. Now right now, you know, I'm just running a standard no roll sinker. Yesterday and today, I was fishing these on anchor. Um, if I was gonna drift with this rig, then I would swap out that no roll sinker and use uh, some variation, whichever you prefer, of a drift fishing sinker, something that's not gonna snag quite as bad. It's gonna drag along the bottom a little bit easier. So that's how I've set up that Whisker Seeker Baby Chub. Again, you can fish drift or on anchor, either one. Definitely something to get out there and experiment with. Makes lots of noise. Really does a good job picking those baits up off the bottom. And again, what I've seen of recent, that there are days where these fish just hammer in on these things and they love them. If you like this information, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let us know. If you got questions, go down below. Let us know. And I also want you to let me know what your preferred catfish rig. What's your number one go-to catfish rig that you like to use? Go down below, leave a comment, let me know what it is. Until next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com. And don't let it get slack in it. Don't let the line get loose.